Mellow greetings, Mary Tubians. Welcome back to Harvest Moon, the Winds of Anthos. And I am really sorry for the fact that this wasn't done in a timely fashion yesterday. I will try and be better going forward, but it is a social time of year coming into the holiday period. And because I literally record on the day that I upload, I don't have any sort of buffer where I'm recording a couple of days in advance. Um, sometimes that social requirement does unfortunately impede my progress. Uh, so we'll try and be better about it in future. Now, where were we up to? I think we just finished off some stuff for starting town. Oh, we've got a letter. What to do? Hey there, Siren. I'm wondering if I can ask you something. We're running out of cherry. Could you bring me five? Selena. I could definitely do that, Selena. That's no problem. But if I'm thinking correctly... Yep, we have nothing growing at the moment. So... I am going to pack all of this up. We're going to make a whole heap more fencing is one of my big goals. So we're going to be chopping down a heap of trees in today's episode. Not just for the quests, but also for us. Because it is time to pick everything up very slowly. We're moving house. Um, basically, I really like this location, but it is a bit out of the way for everything that I'm trying to do right now. And I get that Lilacala is actually technically going to be worse for us. Um, but at the same time, it's close to what I'm working on at present. Um, so I might come back here once I head up north. I don't know yet. Um, I've got to go get some fodder corn so I can make some feed. Um, so yeah, the plan for today is to move to Lilacala, chop down a whole, whole, huge, heckin' bunch of trees so that we can convert that into lumber. Um, I have fishies. I should sell those fishies. I forgot that somebody gave me fishies. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to convert that into a whole heckin' huge amount of lumber. Um, and then from there... Uh, let's just grab two for now. That makes plenty. Um, from there, we're going to fence off around our farm. We're going to um, start growing seeds for the various things that I need to purchase. Now, as I uh, need to do for quests. As I understand it, Lilacala is going to be a, like a perma-summer sort of dealie. Um, and um, I want to make sure that I'm not locking myself out of crops that I need. So if I recall rightly, there was a farm ground available on the way. Hey, Madam Cluck, I'm making you food now. I'm on the way to Lilacala that's not quite in the village, so I want to check that out. Maybe fence off. There you go, Madam Cluck. I'm going to leave you inside because we're moving. Um, maybe fence off um, part of, um, or fence off that field. Um, and then from there, where is Lilacala? Right there it is, there. So if I recall rightly, I thought there was a perch. Oh, that's up there. I thought there was one in the mid-ground. Ah, there it is. So that's a bit far off at the moment. But it is right near a statue. But I want to use this patch here for the more seasonal, non-summer crops. Uh, but for now... So if I recall rightly, for one world, I actually spent a great deal of time living on the beach. 
And I liked it. I just like the environment. I'm a beach girl. Yeah, if I had access to a beach, I would be a beach girl. Let's talk to the Boyd. Yes. And we've sort of done it here because we've got nothing growing right now. So the loss of the day is not going to harm us. Um, although we may lose an egg. Alright, so this patch is huge. That's going to require a lot, a lot of fencing. Um, Saren? Are you free right now? There's something I could use your help with. I need more fertilizer, basically. Alright, Judy. We do want to continue helping the good people. Uh, I don't know if there's any way here where Madam Cluck can graze, really. Oh, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll let her out. Maybe she'll be a beach chicken. Maybe that will be her her place in life. Now, this is technically going to slow me down a little bit. Um, in that it's going to take me a day or two in game to get everything up and running. But that's okay. We have goals. We have plans. We have an egg. Woohoo! Mademoiselle Cluck, go forth and explore the beach. God, you're adorable. We will see what happens. So today we are chopping down trees. We are oh, going to start with this one right here. We are going to collect seeds because there was still... I don't need spinach. Let's check our quests. hitting the correct button for this. Um, what were my... Oh, I've got a lot of lumber. So we might actually deliver this off to Mandy and pick up the next one. Um, so I feel like we can clear a couple of these at the moment. So we're going to grow onions. We need to make food for Nemo. We could honestly do that right now. Sasquatch I still need to work with. Bridge repairs. Spinach. I think I've got all five of the spinach seeds now. Uh, fertilizer, which we need the milk from this, so... Iron. Cherries. Bronze. Okay, alright. There's quite a bit that we can clear through today. I think I was getting wheat seeds because of the bread that I could make. Um, we're always on the lookout for fodder corn. What else do I have tagged at the moment? Looks like it's mostly fodder corn and wheat. Oh no, I'm still looking for spinach apparently. Alright, alright. Slight change in plans. We're going to deliver some of this off. Um, where'd the exit go? There. I really need to get rid of this wall. So, first things first, we're going to deliver this response. We're going to check the fridge for how many cherries we've got. If not, there are cherry trees over near Linktonberry Village. Who was the person I was doing this quest for? Um, are you my questy person? Yep. 
Yes, you are. I need a lot of materials to fix a, fix a broken building. Yes. Yay, tool shop. Thank you. Alright, now there's somebody here. What to do? I want to fix up my house in the shop, but I don't have the materials. Say, if you're free right now, can you help gather the materials I need? Of course I can. That's what I do. I need coconuts for this one. Okay, alright. There should be one. Um... Looks like just behind her here. This map can be a little complex to read. I've run out of materials. Lumber, iron, and yeso scallops. Scallops. I do love that everybody's asking for something slightly different, so you can't just necessarily line up. Oh, I've got 20 of this thing, and that's all I need. Materials, board lumber, iron, and bronze. Um, and then, looks like this way. Yes. Board lumber and material stone. Is that... Uh, there's somebody down the end here. And who's that? Uh, let's go to the end of the long bit. I know I initially said I was just going to do these one by one. But I think it's going to be easier given the amount of bulk stuff I'm going to have to collect. It's going to be easier if I'm hitting all of it at once. Oh, you're one of the few people smart enough to live on an island. You'll be our animal shop person. A lot of materials. Okay, so we're going to need to grow some grass. Our person. My base of operation has fallen into disrepair in my absence. Several materials are needed for repair. Your eyes freak me out, Trini. Okay, so a lot of this I'm going to be able to do in line with my own goals, which is a fantastic. get to these islands? Maybe they're just decorative. But so far no land mass has been just decorative. There's gonna need to be a way. Hmm, but for now we are actually heading all the way back to Langtonberry. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a jumpy around. Oh wow, I have never seen the weather this bad in the village. That's a heavy storm, I'm kind of glad I moved. Loving all the lightning flashes in the sky. And then it's clean and clear. Okay, alright. Apples! We're actually over here to go get the cherries and deliver those, and then we're gonna do a seed roundup because there's quite a few seed sprites in town. Um, there's one down there as well that are going to be very, very useful to us. 
uh, basically today at least is shoring up some freebie supplies for quests cooking and the like because we're also going to need a whole bunch of food And we haven't been apple picking in a few episodes, so I do hope that we find or can grow trees at some point. I should check my bag. Um, all right, I've got one. Yeah, okay, I've got, I've got space for the seeds and things that we need, so as long as I don't go too over the top with collecting all the things, we should be good. I am also going to cut down non-fruit-bearing trees. Ah, you are a seed that we need. I needed seed. Because I also need to keep space for the cherries that I'm actually here for. Which are over here. I'm sorry, tree. You're pretty. You'll grow back. This girl needs a lot of lumber. What was I playing recently that I actually tell you off for chopping down trees? Ah, uh, my time at Sandrock. Because it's set in a, a desert environment, trees are basically considered vital and sacred, for lack of a better term. Um, so you can collect driftwood and stuff, but you're not actually allowed to chop down trees. I thought it was kind of cool. Given how much these games tend to place an emphatic on, uh, you know, look at us, we're trying to be all mindful and caring and stuff. But yeah, we're just going to chop down trees and we're just going to mine this stuff into extinction, basically. Because it's what we need. Although, to be fair, in a video game, the trees do grow back in like three days, so. Yay, wheat! Now, back into town. You can deliver those cherries. I want to stop in and see Doc. And I want to turn some of this lumber into fencing. Dock should be open late, right? Right? Oh, I can barely see the village for the rain. Oh no, Neil, what do you need now? Yay, watercress! Now what? Board lumber. You know what? I may as well just finish this. Oh, Neil's at like two notes. Well, one note and the first silhouette of a note. I'm not actually trying to romance Neil. I don't know that I'm trying to romance anybody just yet. I haven't met all of the bachelors. How am I supposed to decide who to spend my life with? So I will make a decision and then I'll meet somebody even more awesome and regret it. So no, I'm not actively romancing anybody. 
is that red light? Is that Doc's house? That's ominous. Doc, your house is ominous. Alright, I would like to make some more fencing. This is going to cost a penny and a half. Do we think 20 would do it? That's going to cost all of my lumber. But it is needed. We're right with the other elements. Let's sloop back to our new house. Home. Alright, and let's start by correctly pulling things out of our bag. Put each of the fence posts in place. And I think I'll put the gate on the other side. No! It's facing the wrong way. Really gotta make sure that you're, uh, you've got things lined up right. That's one edge. We're down to 23. Hmm. This is just such a huge field. It's going to be fantastic when I start planting. But for this purpose, a little more awkward. Not looking too bad, not looking too shoddy so far. Madam Clock is about to go home. Alright, now I want to swap that out for the gate. Oh, we might make it. I think I'm going to come up like one short. We have a fully fenced in pen. Perfect. Let's grab this fertilizer. Madam Cluck has been called in. The town is looking lovely. It's very late at night. Before I disappear, I am going to sell these two random fish.
Alright, let's put away all of that fantastic food that we gathered, except for the apples, because... Apples serve many a purpose to us. God, I'm a horde rat. <laughs> I have so much stuff in this pantry. Um, but all of it is going to be very, very useful at one point or another, so... I am okay with that. Right, let's put away the corn. Um, I'm actually going to keep the wheat out for the moment. Organize all of this. I'll put the grass away, because I do need to grow more. Um, I'll put the weeds away. I'll put the one piece of fence left <laughs> away. Um, yeah, these are our three primaries and grass now. Do I even have... Grass seeds. We are getting a decent amount of stuff together, although I am very worried. Oh, 56 out of 100. We've still got some storage space. Alright, yep, okay, I've got 10 grass. Perfect. Sleep. And that helped get us a little point with Lilicala. Seems like an appropriate place to be selling fish. It's terrible! Yesterday's bad weather has ruined the fields! I didn't have any crops in the field, so that's okay. I had no crops growing anywhere. And now I do have a completely enclosed fence. 660, nice. Nothing needs to be cleaned here. Hey, madam. Hopefully soon I'll have a friend for you. Um, but you're still producing, so... Actually, I could probably kick you out in that instance. Yeah, let's do it. Um... All right, seed hunting and tree killing. Oh, look at her, she's gorgeous. All right, so we are going to sloop back to Langdonbury. Because here I have, what, three lots of wheat? Some more spinach. Which I want to backstock because he asks for it a lot. So we'll go via the mine. Hopefully the weather's died down a bit. Yay! Alright. We're also going to collect these shroomies. And... Given the way I'm facing, there is spinach just over here. You think I would know where all these sprites are by now? I've visited them that many times, but no, I'm really bad with directions and locational planning and all of that sort of stuff. Spinach! What are you? Oh, you're a tree I cut down. Ring rowing. Perfect. So are you. Alright, so next one is just around the corner. Not you today, my friend. Sorry. We are on a focused hunt. Hello, Mr. Spinach. Thank you. And then we are going to... We need to come up and over here. So I need to go around that little divot. Um, 
that one. I don't want to chop down too many trees within the set, the actual town bounds. I'd rather go outside. I don't know why. I'm weird. I'm okay with that. Oh, mushrooms. I really should start working on getting a mount though. Heading the opposite direction, Ronan. Nope, down the hill. Then we can cut down trees. Basically anywhere outside of this fence line. We... They're not marked as wheat, but you do have a tree I can cut down. Sorry. I really need all this lumber. And the wheat. Now the wheat I am basically gathering for cooking purposes. I think I may have already said. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I do that a lot though. I kind of want to see who just jumped out of the, the rose. Yay, turnips! I have an idea for how to get that one. Now, where is that last wheat person? They are just up the hill and around the corner. I'm gonna get you. Choppy choppy chop. So yeah, my advice to anybody coming into this game new or that's just picked it up, as soon as you get your axe, try and chop down at least one tree a day. Break at least one rock a day. You are gonna need all of this stuff. Alright. Uh, oh, I've got a wheat on the other side. So let's not waste time. I will sloop back. And where is this guy? He's over here. Ah, uh, just down there. Oh, and they're a purple. That's what we like. Thank you. Alright, where is our next highest concentration of collectible seeds? Uh, got a couple of bags of wheat there. We got wheat, spinach, spinach. But that's a really difficult area for traversal right now. Uh, fodder corn all along here. Which we are going to be needing. Alright, we've got a couple of points of wheat at the next village. So let's head over to Providence. Um, there's also quite an, a nice number of trees along the path. And I really should start sucking up to the villagers here. Because I believe Wesley and Vivi are both romance options. Marriage candidates, as it were. Thank you. And where was the other one? South. There is a pond. I'm actually wondering what's going to happen to Providence Village, given that it's made up of people who got stuck. 
in uh, to borrow the term, the Great Calamity. When people get to move back to their hometowns, there is a sandbar here. No? Ah, okay, we've got another little island in the middle. And I'm not seeing an attached sandbar on the map or otherwise. There is going to be some sort of wisp or sprite or something under that rock. I really should start making notes of all these places so that I can check them out. Leaders. Alright, I got a photocorn over here, which I really do need. Oh, there's a little bar here. That's. How do I get to that one? Oh, okay, maybe. Oh, I've got 10 minutes without chopping down a tree. Also gonna need to go collect a bunch of coconuts. Tulip seeds! Woo. I should grab some coffee beans while I'm out and about too. Alright, so what does being able to walk across here actually do for me? Uh, is there a sprite here or... I heard a s the tinkle of a sprite. No, it's that fox noticing me. Alright, so that served absolutely no purpose. Except to distract me from my task. Interesting game. Very interesting. You're being all sly at me. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's make use of this little coffee grove. When I get home, I'm going to make some baguettes. I'm going to eat some food. I'm going to grab a notebook. Alright, I would have liked... Ah, uh, I could still pick up. The fodder corn seed that is on the other side. Over here. So I want to make sure I've got lots and lots of feed stocked before I really start to expand my barns. And I really do want a fancy mount. I don't just want a plain horse. Nothing wrong with playing horses. They are awesome. But I want something fancy. So that gives us quite a bit to work with. Now we're probably not going to do any planting until tomorrow. Because um, we're going to need to A. Make some coffee. And B. Clear that field. Let's make some coffee. And a couple of fried eggs. Oh, well, a fried egg. Will be lovely. Now, let's clear some fields. I appreciate that I don't actually have to press a button to open the gate. Because the fence at the other farm was never completed, I'd never actually had to use the gate, so... Also, it looks like plucking weeds. Ah, oh, no, it does. I was going to say, it looks like it uses no stamina. Nope. 
Everything uses stamina, Ronan. Everything. But we're gonna work until we are stamped out. Not, you know, cactus, but down to one heart. So many weeds. All right, basically a clean field. That is going to need to be tilled tomorrow. I'm going to go turn all of these, well, as many of these weeds as I can into feed. Make feed. I can make two. Woo. You know what? Every little bit helps. And at this point, I don't know any other purposes for wheat, so we will do what we know we can do. Alright, food is ready, so tomorrow is going to be a grand day of planting, and by tomorrow I mean tomorrow in game, it's actually going to be the next episode at this point. Um, it's going to be a grand day of planting, and if I just completely fudge that, never mind. Put away all the non-essential seeds. Fodder corner essential. And weeds. I really need to find more onions. Let's put that on the map. Okay, alright, we've got some onion seeds back in town over there. That's about it, though. We have gone a f uh, Every time I think we've got a fair way to open the map, I can forget that I haven't even started to really train north yet. There's so much to do. But, we're getting there. And for now, we're going to call that an episode... A lot of resource gathering, and honestly, I think I said this at the end of the episode last time, resource gathering is going to be a big focus for the next few episodes um, while we prep. If you don't want to see me play through chopping down all the trees and stuff, uh, feel free to let me know and I can do all of that off screen. I prefer to show the full experience of the game as far as much as possible. Um, I know towards the end of the game I'll sort of smush things together and streamline a bit but for the moment I'd rather share the, the whole thing end to end um, but yeah let me know your feelings other than that this is going to be Ronan Tia signing off and I will catch you in the next episode